So what oh, shall shit. it be? Do you join the unity, or do you die here? Join. Die. Join. Die. I don't have to prove anything to you. Prove. Very demanding. The unity will bring about the master. Your humor will not save you now. Do you accept my offer or not? Not. Accept. Damn it. You think? He always gets that first shot off. Maybe I should just attack him. Oops. Yeah. Stop hitting me for lots and then hitting me for nothing. Crit him. Crit him for 200. He does it to you all the time. Crit the bastard. Yeah. Crit the bastard. Crit him. That's not really a crit. Crit his head! Really? What? She got for life. What? She's got lots of life still. Fine. Just killed his buddy. What the fuck is shooting now? I'm gonna... Oh shit. In there. Oh, 105. All I pretty much have to do is hit him here. Yes, the master is dead. Happy Valentine's Day, bunny. Oh, fucking yes, I love the birther dead. Oh, well, that guy doesn't kill me. Don't kill me. Hey, guys, stop shooting me. <laughs> I don't really. I hope everyone's having a good V day. Uh -huh. I've taken out the master, so I'm doing all right myself. Hey, Zados. Uh, hey, kill. All right. All right. Hey, unknown, you made it. You got to see me kill the master. I was worried about you not being here earlier. Um. Okay, so there's two robots. And some super mutants I have to worry about. Oh, I don't have five. Where did I use all my action points on? Strange. Alright, well, let's keep heading this way. Twenty-three. Aha! I heard that ting off my armor. Power armor was the way to go. Oh, you know what? I should be doing aimed shots. That's the issue. Shoot him in the head! S server? Five ever? What, what do you say, Zatos? Should I just shoot this guy in the head or should I heal? I think I should heal. <laughs> Happy Valentine's Day! Let's kill some super mutants! Uh, 
Ah, like forever, but plus one. I see. Well, aimed shot his ass. Shoot him in the head. We need to get out of here. Things usually don't go well after you kill the quote unquote master, I'm sure. Oh, crap. But I'm really curious to see if he had anything on him. All right. Oh, it's these things aren't even attacking me anymore now that the master's dead. Let me just put them out of their misery, I guess. Ooh, the pedestal looks as if it were slowly breathing in and out. Kind of gross. See, you're missing my laser. Yeah, he had a laser pistol. Okay. Okay. So I guess I don't have a timer, and I could actually explore around here as long as I wanted. Oh, no. There we go. There's the timer. Time left. 203 seconds. We're going to do something real quick here. And that's to save the game. Back under... Where's 2? All the way back there. We're going to save under 2. I want to run downstairs and see if that area on the wall that I thought looked weird is open. Hundred and eighty five seconds. We killed the master. That's amazing. He was tough. How many times did we have to fight him there? Like six? I uh, admittedly I'm only level sixteen. Uh, which is five levels away from the level cap. Nope, nothing going on there. Okay. Let's see if I can use these 164 seconds and get the hell out of here. Yeah, I wanted to do that. Exactly what I wanted to do. Get out of here. It's a good thing the Brotherhood have more power armor. Oh wait, no, I'm wearing my power armor. Oh well. Then goodbye Tesla armor. Nobody will ever see you again. I think there's only... Is there only one set of Tesla armor in the whole game? Because I never saw Tesla armor before I found it upstairs in this place. Hi, Devin. What can timer say? 144. Let's get out of here. So the master, he creeped the shit out of me. And now he's dead. I'm doing good. Doing good. About to get the fuck out of here. How much time do we have left? 115 when I came up the stairs? Alright, we'll be fine. That's plenty to get out of here. Wait, where is the egg? There it is. Down just a little bit more. The death of the master was the first major step towards ending his mad dream of conquest and enforced peace. But it is the destruction of the vats that neutralizes the mutant threat. Yeah, Without the ability to create more mutants and enforce their harsh brand of justice, the mutant armies flee to the east beyond the no man's land. The mutant attack on Necropolis spares none of its ghoulish inhabitants. After the they mutant armies advance, already. they leave a truly dead city behind them. The mutant armies, led into battle by the fierce super mutants, destroy the followers of the apocalypse. Barely human carrion feeders pick over the followers' remains. The mutant army marches as far north as Shady Sands, 
raising the small Aww. town to the ground. The Brotherhood of Steel helps the other human outposts drive the mutant armies away with minimal loss of life on both sides of the conflict. Yay. The advanced technology of the Brotherhood is slowly reintroduced into New California with little disruption or chaos. The Brotherhood wisely remains out of the power structure and becomes a major research and development house. The hub disperses before the might of the mutant army and will never recover. Thanks to your persistence, the raiders are destroyed as an effective fighting force and disband. None of the raider survivors are ever heard from again. Your involvement with the various places and people of the wasteland is well documented by future historians. Only a single question remained unanswered. What happened to you? What happened to you? You've done it. That's wonderful, amazing. I'm so proud of what you've accomplished, what you've endured. There's no way the people of the vault can ever thank you enough for what you've done. You've saved all our lives. Who knows? Maybe even save the human race. Everyone will want to talk to you. Every youngster will look up to you and want to emulate you. And then what? So he's kicking us out of the vault. They'll want to leave. What happens to the vault if we lose the best of a generation? We did what this yesterday. We, uh, we know what's happening. Tough decisions since I took this position, but none of them harder than this one. You saved us, but you'll kill us. I'm sorry. You're a hero, and you have to leave. So what a bummer. I'm a hero, and I have to leave. Yep. I don't stand for that guy's shit. So the question is, what happened to you? It shows you wandering off. Like I say, we watched this last night, but I wanted to uh, I wanted to just do it again because number one, I wanted to fight the master. The other way we did it, we just blew up the whole complex. And number two, I just kind of wanted to stress that. You know, the historians documented everything that happened in game throughout history, but what happened to you after the fact? And the question remains, you know, what happened to you? After that fateful day, you killed the uh, the overseer and walked away, and it's it's kind of funny. Cause this is what happened.
I have tingles. War. War never changes. The end of the world occurred pretty much as we had predicted. Too many humans, not enough space or resources to go around. The details are trivial and pointless. The reasons, as always, purely human ones. The Earth was nearly wiped clean of life. A great cleansing, an atomic spark struck by human hands, quickly raged out of control. Spears of nuclear fire rained from the skies. Continents were swallowed in flames and fell beneath the boiling oceans. Humanity was almost extinguished, their spirits becoming part of the background radiation that blanketed the Earth. A quiet darkness fell across the planet, lasting many years. Few survived the devastation. Some had been fortunate enough to reach safety, taking shelter in great underground vaults. When the great darkness passed, these vaults opened, and their inhabitants emerged to begin their lives again. One of the northern tribes claims they are descended from one such vault. They hold that their founder and ancestor, one known as the Vault Dweller, once <laughs> saved the world from a great evil. According to their legend, this evil arose in the far south. It corrupted all it touched, twisting men inside, turning them into beasts. Only through the bravery of this Vault Dweller was the evil destroyed. But in so doing, he lost many of his friends and suffered greatly, sacrificing much of himself to save the world. When at Aww. last he returned to the home he had fought so hard to protect, he was cast out, exiled. That happened? In confronting that which they feared, he had become something else in their eyes and no longer their champion. Forsaken by his people, he strode into the wasteland. He traveled far to the north until he came to the great canyons. There he founded a small village, Arroyo, where he lived out the rest of his years. <laughs> and so for a generation since its founding, Arroyo has lived in peace, its canyons sheltering it from the outside world. It is home, your home. But the scars left by the war have not yet healed. And the earth has not forgotten. So, yeah. Turns out, guys, after I uh, got kicked out of the vault, I went off into the wastelands and started my own little tribe. It was pretty cool. So, yeah. Let's see. What the presets are for a new game. Narg, okay. Mingan or Chitsa. Oh, goody. Well, I have to be the great grandson, or maybe just the grandson, um, of the original guy. How long has it been? Wow, all these people look derpy as crap. That's what they get for, for trying to make 3D. Anyone ever heard of the Uncanny Valley? I'm pretty sure that's where this dude lives. Ugh. I'm a direct descendant. I'm going to be Matt the third? Yeah. I'm going to be Matt the third. And I guess I'm going to look like this guy because he's a hell of a lot better looking than that guy. <laughs> well then. So... Okay, so he is already kind of the character... Oh, he's a. Oh, he's dumb. Is this guy smarter? She's the smart one. Wow. Speech. All right. There's no real science characters here. It kind of makes sense considering they all come from tribes. So there's no science characters. 
Which means, I mean, I kind of need her. Except, whatever. Matt's going to be a girl's name in the future. Past. Well, this is the future. This is, yeah. So her name is going to be Matt. Maybe just like w with one T. I don't know. It ha we have to make it like, you know, all tribal in a way. Maybe we'll call her Matty with an I. Yeah, I like that. Well, then we can't, whatever. Chitza. Matty. My descendant. My great-granddaughter, Matty. She is 19 and female. Cool. It's going to be weird playing a game as my great-granddaughter. She's got heroic charisma. That's my, that's my granddaughter. Everybody likes her. Um... One-hander and sex appeal? What's sex appeal? You've got the right stuff. Members of the opposite sex are attracted to you, but those of the same sex tend to become quite jealous. Is that worth having? Huh. One-hander. Well, one hand is very dominant. Let's keep her the way she is, you know? This is the way she was born, and she's my granddaughter. I love her that way, you know? She doesn't need to be different or anything. She's perfect the way she is. Except for her name. Can't be Chatsy or whatever the hell it was. Come in, Chosen One. There are I things the you must one. know. The Finally. village is dying. The signs are everywhere. Withering crops. Dying Brahmin. Sick children. There is uh, hope, however. A slim hope. That few know of. The old discs speak of an item called the Garden of Eden Creation Kit. It is said it can bring life to the wasteland. This will be your quest, if you prove yourself worthy. For that proof, you must first journey to the Temple of Trials. If you survive, come back to me. We will talk more. Our life is in your hands, Chosen One. Prove yourself. Find the Gek. Be our salvation. Find the Gek. And, of course, we have the conventional Fallout interface. Uh, I think some things might be cleaned up just a little bit. Let's take a look at our Pip-Boy. You aren't wearing a Pip-Boy. Sad. Sad. Character sheet. Pretty much exactly the same. What do our options look like? Preferences. Pretty much exactly the same. Combat looks. What is that? Oh, we'll try it next time. Uh, but that was just kind of a teaser, guys. We will actually be starting up Fallout 2 probably in a couple episodes for real. Uh, because I'm probably going to do something Minecraft. I haven't played a lot of... Well, that was in the game. That was weird. Uh, I haven't played a lot of Minecraft over the last few days. I, I'm sure a lot of people are Jones. Whoa, why are you so loud, lady? Um, sure a few people may be Jones and for it. And I got some work to do on one of the servers, too, so uh, it might be good to do that. But uh, thanks, everyone, for hanging out today. Short stream. Happy Valentine's Day, everybody. Uh, I, myself, am going off to spend Valentine's Day uh, with Ange. I hope you all have uh, someone to spend it with, uh, either real life or uh, here on Twitch or something, because, you know, I'm sure there are uh, some people hanging out. <laughs> I'll see you guys later.